All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, um, you know, Chris Cyborg, you know she's campaigning for this fight against Cecilia Brackets, okay? She's campaigning for this fight against Cecilia Brackets, and, you know, this is a fight that I also want to see, okay? I don't know some people, they don't want to see the fight because Chris is not a pure boxer, but, you know, I don't care. It is entertainment. I mean, people was all up in arms about Conor McGregor, you know, like cheering for him, and he's going to beat Mayweather. Well, okay, so now Chris Cyborg can have our opportunity, which, you know, that's cool. Um, I'm all for this fight. I want this fight. Um, I think, though, in my opinion, you know, some people, they're writing off Chris Cyborg. They're talking about, you know, her boxing skill set. She's not a boxer, you know. But, you know, to me, Chris Cyborg took on one of the best pure boxers in women's MMA, and that's Holly Holm. Okay? She outpointed and outcountered Holly Holm, the best pure boxer to me in women's MMA. Chris Cyborg pretty much schooled her. Okay? Now, am I saying that, you know, Chris could go into a 12-round fight with Cecilia Brackers and do the same thing? No, I'm not saying that. But I did watch the fight with Callie Reese. I watched that fight, and I'm going to be completely honest. You know, Callie Reese was able to drop Cecilia Brackers, and Callie Reese don't pull the trigger. Now, what do you think Chris Cyborg going to do? Chris Cyborg going to get in there and pull the trigger, man. She's going to pull the trigger. She's not going to stand and take one punch and just try to, you know, end the fight. Chris going to pull the trigger, and tr Chris is going to pull the trigger often. Okay, often and fast, and she's going to keep going. She ain't going to stop. Then I'm telling y'all, that's what it is. She's not going to stop. Chris Cyborg is going to pull that trigger. Where Callie Reese wouldn't pull the trigger, Chris Cyborg pulling that trigger. Okay? And I think Chris Cyborg probably got more power than Callie Reese. Okay? I think Chris Cyborg got more power. And people saying, what about the boxing gloves? Well, Chris Cyborg fought in Muay Thai with boxing gloves on, and she was knocking people out in Muay Thai. Okay, she had on them damn Hayabusa gloves. Them things thick as on no wet. She was knocking people out using those. I mean, so we can't say that the boxing gloves are going to prohibit Chris from knocking out Brackets. And I think Chris could. I think this is a 60-40 fight in favor of Cecilia Brackets. That's my opinion. Okay? It's my opinion. I'm keeping my opinion. And I really could care less if you disagree with my opinion. But I'm going to keep my opinion. You keep your opinion. I'll keep my opinion. And then that's just what we're going to do. Okay? So I just need y'all to understand. It's my opinion. Okay? That's just how it is. I think Chris Cyborg is a live dog in this fight. I think Chris has a big opportunity to win this fight. Matter of fact, I think Chris can win this fight. I think she can. And me, I'm going for Chris Cyborg to win this fight against Cecilia Brackis. I think Chris got the opportunity. I think she can do it. I think Cecilia Brackis, you know, she's the more purely technical boxer. She's the more fundamentally sound boxer, okay? Chris don't have all the same fundamentals, but Chris Cyborg got the intangibles. And, you know, if those punches wasn't hurting Callie Reese, Cecilia Brackett, her punch is not going to hurt Chris Cyborg. They not. Chris is going to walk down Cecilia Brackett. She's going to do it for most of the fight. I'm telling y'all, man, people are underestimating Cyborg in a boxing ring. I, I don't do that. Okay, when I saw her take Urena Jojo Bars, you know, to, took her a distance, and she won two rounds on the greatest, you know, I mean, I mean, uh, Urena Jojo Bars, probably the number one pound for pound Muay Thai uh, kickbox in the world. I believed in Chris Cyborg took it a distance and won two rounds on the best. Okay. Sorry. I think Chris is a live dog in a boxing match versus Cecilia Brackis. Definitely a live dog. Um, Cecilia Brackis, though, you know, she's not afraid to fight. She ain't exchanged to mix it up. But if Cecilia Brackis smart, <laughs> she better not get in an exchange and try to trade with Cyborg. That's dangerous. She getting knocked down. She getting knocked down. Okay, don't worry. Okay, well, MMA and boxing is different. Yeah, it is different. It is different. It's completely different. But Chris Cyborg fought Holly Holm. She boxed Holly Holm inside of the octagon. She boxed her. And she defeated Holly Holm by boxing Holly Holm. And she won the battle. Okay? Chris Cyborg won the battle and outboxed Holly Holm and defeated Holly Holm easily. Easy work. That's just how that is. That's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. And, you know, folks, I, you know, I'm not I'm not betting against Cyborg. No, I'll never do that. I'm not going to bet against Cyborg. I think Cyborg is a live dog in this fight. And I think Cyborg can pull it off. You know, I know a lot of people will say, oh, man, coach, you just biased. Yep, I am. I'm glad you figured that out. Like, thank you. I mean, you're, you're telling me something that I already know. I tell everybody on this channel, I'm biased, but I'm balanced, okay? I'm very, very biased, but I'm balanced. But on this one, yep, you called it. I'm going to be very biased. 
and I picked Cyborg to pull the upset over Cecilia Brackus. Don't care what you think. Don't care if you, you can voice your opinion. That's fine. But my opinion, I'm going to tell you that I believe that Cyborg defeats Brackus. But I actually want this fight to happen before 2019. But you know how things work in boxing, man. It's slow. Okay. If this was an MMA bout, we, we, we would probably be talking about the fight. And we have a fight date by now. But in boxing, things work so slow. They just do. It's like, man, they can't get the stuff together. They can't do boxing. You know, I, yeah. If we if we if we if we get to 2019 and we lucky enough, yeah, we'll see this fight by then. Okay, I hope so because it'll be a good fight. Both of these two, they'll make stupid amounts of money. I know they will. It'll be a highly and it'll be on the main card. I can guarantee you this fight will be on the main card. Chris Cyborg is a draw. People know Cecilia Brackus, but I think Chris Cyborg is, is a bigger draw. Okay. And I think the MMA fans who support Cyborg, they're going to watch it. They're going to pay pay-per-view. I'm buying it. I know I buy it. I buy it. Well, I don't care whatever it costs. The coach going to buy the pay-per-view of Chris Cyborg boxing. And that's just the way that is. But, you know, I got my girl Chris Cyborg upset. Ninth round knockout of Cecilia Brackets of this fight going down. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Oh, and uh, there's also another comment that Cecilia Brackets made. She said that... Uh, Conor McGregor is a better, uh, that Chris is a better pure striker than Conor McGregor. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. The reason why I don't know because, you know, you, you're comparing a man to a woman. And Conor McGregor is a knockout artist. And he can knock you out. Okay, Conor McGregor is very accurate. Okay. I think Conor McGregor is more accurate than Chris Cyborg. Tell you what, if Cecilia got in there with him and sparred with him, I don't think she'd be saying that he he's not a good striker. He's a good striker. He's a great striker. I, just, I don't know if Cyborg is better than Conor McGregor. I don't believe that. But I believe that Chris Cyborg is a very good striker. She's right, okay? But I think we're stretching it out a little bit far. Conor McGregor, is very, he's a very skilled striker. Um, and that's just how it is. That's why he's knocking these dudes out. But, you know, I give Chris some credit, though. She went in and she outboxed Holly Holm. But you guys tell me what you think. I got Cyborg winning this by ninth round knockout. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.